Hi there, welcome. Welcome to Home Keepers. Hope you're having a wonderful day, my friend. All you great people out there. I hear from a certain number of you each month and it just feels like we're really good, solid friends and be great to meet someday. I, I know we will in heaven. I just think it's going to be a wonderful thing when we get to know all the people that, you know, we worked with and uh, prayed with, but never really, really met. God bless you for being there. And also, if this is your first time, hope you realize how welcome you are. And it's just a privilege, an absolute privilege to come to you and especially to bring you the guests that the Lord sends our way. And <clears throat> this is going to be one beneficial, one thing I really appreciate and love about Christian radio and television is that we not only make every effort to win people to the Lord Jesus Christ, but also to disciple them. And we've got some great ministries that do that. And I believe my guest today, I would call her a discipler. And she's written a book called Detox, a Spiritual Cleansing for a Fulfilling Life. I think that is an awesome title because, you know, we talk an awful lot about detoxing our physical bodies and how beneficial it is, but oh boy, I probably there's not one Christian out there that couldn't use a little bit of detox in their spiritual life. Diana Sykes is her name. This is her second book and you will meet her shortly. I'm going to join Stephanie in a minute. We're going to make an applesauce bread. If you watch very much, you know that I love short breads, quick breads, that kind of thing. And this is one pretty healthy actually. And we'll show you how to make that. But before I do, I again want to offer you this beautiful bracelet um, made of pearls, you might say, with the um, cross. It's made out of uh, zirconium, I believe. And it's yours for the asking if you'll write to us or call us at 1-800-229-0059. That's for your credit debit cards. And the address is Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. And my wonderful friends who are a little bit uh, visually impaired ask me to be sure and give that address. So that's why I like to give it out a couple of times um, during the program. And now I've joined Stephanie over here. How are you, dear? I'm good. I have mine on. Oh, you do? Good, do. Good, good. Every day. Yeah. I love it. And uh, they look good with anything. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a win-win. All right, this is one of those um, that moves along pretty quickly. Yeah, and yep. I have a half a cup of softened butter here. Mm -hmm. And Which I'm gonna add really a cup of sugar. And then, oh, you're gonna do your And job. for all the new viewers, I you always the do the spray. spraying. Yes. I'm the only one who can be trusted. That was a cup of sugar and an egg. You're the only one who can be trusted. Oh, look <laughs> at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fun, fun. Well, you just got back from Tennessee. I did. It was a wonderful, wonderful trip. I got to see my parents, my fan club, my sister. It was great. And you painted a, mother, uh, a room for your mother. I did. Mm -hmm. That was being a really good daughter, I would say. Yes, I was so sore. I painted for like six hours. I was so sore the next day, but it was worth it just to make her happy. Yeah, I've met your mother. She's a sweetheart. Yeah, I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. And as we make this program, it's actually the month of October. I mentioned that once a while because you might see it in mm -hmm. June someday. But um, I just wondered if the leaves were changing because that's my favorite oh, time of the year. Right that doesn't precipice. happen in Florida. No, it was right. On, right, you could tell it was getting, getting ready, ready to. to. There might have been a little yellow, a little red, but it wasn't quite quite there yet. All the seasons are wonderful, mm -hmm. and you cannot really, you know. I do miss Can that. You know, I grew up in Indiana, but so I do miss that. That one's where God gets out his paintbrush and he goes wild. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Cinnamon and nutmeg. Okay. And we have um, baking soda and salt. And we have a cup and a half of flour we're going to mix together in here. And the, the moisture must be the applesauce yes. because it doesn't have any eggs or anything in yeah, it. Yeah, one egg. There was Does one it? egg in it, yeah. I missed that. Yeah, that was at the beginning. I've never... Are you... Left-handed? I am not. Because that looks <laughs> weird. <laughs> but it's on my left hand, so. Uh -huh. Hey, if it works. 
All right, we've okay, got. Okay, and then I have applesauce. I'm gonna put a, ha a cup and a um, half of applesauce in here, and that's where your moisture is. Do you know, I want to explain something. Uh, mm -hmm. We recently did a thing called a taco pie. Mm -hmm. And um, when we cut it, you know, because we just got out of the oven, it fell apart a little bit. I took some home. That cuts perfectly if you let it sit a little bit. That's probably too much. Are you doing a little redemption for us? Is that what little you're A little redemption, doing? yeah. yeah. Uh, it was really very, very good, but um, I think that, uh, the reason I mentioned, I think that happens a lot with our stuff because we are in a hurry. Well, and we do it right, yeah, we usually do it right. So most things, let them sit a little bit and they'll, yeah. because that taco pie, it really did act like a pie. Mm -hmm. Now I would probably put some nuts in this myself. Nuts and then I would slather it with butter and <laughs> <laughs> or a make warm a nice vanilla sauce. For it. Well. And just so they I want to get this. It's not on the is. end. Oh, this would be so good for breakfast with your first cup of coffee. Or tea for you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it good? That's a good one. You better taste it. A little it taste. Smells like mm -hmm. fall. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me get a dainty bite. Mm -hmm. You know, I watched myself and it wasn't very pretty. <laughs> mm. It's painful. Really moist. You like oh, it? Oh, that's so moist. Mm -hmm. Mm. We got some crew here can, who can hardly wait. So you bake it, uh, I believe 350, do you know how long? Yeah, for about, about 40, 40 minutes. minutes. Watch it. You can make mini loaves, you know, and pass them yeah. out to your neighbors. That's In what fact, I wanted, I wanted to. to do that and couldn't find the loaves, so. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah make a great gift. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that more on a, another program, but I love food gifts. I really Me too. do. I'd rather have them than a lot of other things that yeah. people might give. All right. Uh, stay with me. I want you to meet Diana Sykes, and we're going to talk about her book, Detox. It will help you. If you would like a copy of today's recipe, please send your request, along with a gift of $5 or more, to Homekeepers, P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. I want to welcome Diana Sykes. Thank you so much. And where'd you get this name? I think it's a fabulous name for a book. Detox. Well, you know, my husband and I have ministered in different parts of the world. And we realized that people that love the Lord, they had so many issues in their life and that their mind was full of mind pollution. And the way to get rid of that was to detox it with the Word of God and allowing the wonderful counselor the one that knows the things that go on inside of us, to be the one that brought the detox to them. I can't tell you how much I appreciate somebody who sits down and writes a book like this, because uh, you have gone through the Word, you've pulled out mm -hmm. the important scriptures for the subject, Yes, you've done the work for them, and I think every Christian in the world could could benefit from this. Was there something in your own life that I know you're a, a Bible teacher besides being an author. Mm -hmm. Or is there something in your own life maybe you were trying to detox? <laughs> oh my. That Let is me count the ways. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Well, you know, I grew up in a very, very dysfunctional environment. I mean, um, trauma, a lot of painful events, a lot of verbal abuse. Um, you know, mental abuse, uh, a lot of things within my family that were just unbelievable, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, when I became a Christian and I began to read about the fact that Jesus said he came that we would have life and have it to the full and more abundant and super added and overflowing. And I'm like, well, this is not what is happening to me. What is going on? So I began to realize and research the fact that all the pains that I had experienced in my past from growing up in a home where there was so much trauma, so much, um, you know, verbal um, pain and stuff that was mm -hmm. issued out, that uh, it, was, it was in me and I needed to get it out. 
And then I began to realize, you know, the scripture that said that if, if you want to move forward in life, you know, it said in 3 John that you've got to get your soul free and your soul is your mind, will, and emotions. Well, I mean, I was looking good on the outside. I was doing everything that the word said, but I was in pain. Mm. So this was born out of getting rid of the trauma the pain, the continual mistakes that I was making, looking for love in all the wrong places, trying to fill up that gap that was in me, but wanting to live for the Lord and do what was pleasing in His sight. I think you just told the story of so many viewers. Yes. I really do. I didn't want to get your website up there, and um, this is where you could get this mm -hmm. book. Is yes. it like Amazon and every? Amazon, dianasykes.com. They can mm -hmm. go on that, Barnes & Noble, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tate Publishing. Yes, and uh, this is a good book to teach. There yes. are uh, Sunday school teachers or maybe you have a Bible class in your home or something. Yes, yes. Perfect, perfect for this. And like I said, she's done all the work for you. Um, you start out kind of talking about God's character and I thought, she nailed it right there. Exactly. Uh, you didn't wait till the end to see what we're, we're going after. Well, that's what the book is based on. You know, if you realize that how much God loves you and how much He sent His Son to pay the price for your wholeness and happiness, and that's our very purpose for being on the earth is to share the love of God, to reveal His image and His character. So many of us base who we are on the characters that we've been around. Well, uh, especially with the dysfunction that yes. you grew up with, did you think it was ever possible to get rid of that? Because God doesn't give us amnesia, does He? It would be kind of nice, but He doesn't. Right. No, well, you know, I go back to the fact that when I read in the Word, somehow God gave me such a love for the Word of God. It was like food and refreshing for my soul. So I knew from the time that I became a Christian that there had to be a better way. Mm -hmm. You know, it says in the book of Acts that uh, repent so that times of refreshing can come. And repent means change your mind, get your mind in line with everything Jesus did. So I just knew there was a refreshing and I didn't really know how to get there. But the Lord began to show my husband and I through processes that we used ourselves and through working with other people that the wonderful counselor mm -hmm. could take issues that we all have find out what the feelings are and get to the root of the problem and pull out those bitter roots. And I had a lot of them. Yeah, he says, let no root of bitterness. Exactly. I have often said to congregations, I said, you know, I've learned yes. that you release it just like that. Mm -hmm. Because if it takes root, though, you know, when you have been slighted or something, it hurts when God rips those roots right out of it your does. soul. And yes. so you release it, you release it immediately. Mm -hmm. And um, you have to learn to do that, but it's you do. totally mm -hmm. possible. Mm -hmm. um, there's a saying, you know, what you don't know won't hurt you, but you don't agree with that. I did not agree <laughs> with that. Yes, if we don't know the truth about how much God loves us mm -hmm. and how much Jesus paid the price mm -hmm. for our wholeness, I say we'll be living the lie instead of living the life. The truth is so important. Mm -hmm. And we know, I always say that, you know, in the beginning, the first identity theft, you know, it's a big thing this day and time. Yeah. But the first began in the garden. Right. And people's lives have had their very identity of who they were meant to be stolen from them. Most often it starts in childhood and they don't know how to get rid of it. They don't understand how to deal with things that happen in their life and it builds and becomes like a cesspool within their systems. And unless it's released, you know, it's I always say it's like a computer that um, we have to defrag our computers. And uh, there's data that gets fragmented here and there. The computer shuts down, it slows down, and our minds are like that. We have to release that information and bring in the new information, plant new gardens in our garden of life, and then great things begin happening. Mm -hmm. um, you also talk about, you know, I don't know if these are your words or mine, but to unlearn things. I've mentioned on the show before, I was raised in a wonderful mm -hmm. Christian home. Mm -hmm. We had family altar <clears throat> and all that. But as you grow, I think 
God, your concept of God is constantly evolving. Yes. I mean, He's bigger to me than He's ever been right. before. But also you learn little things, little negative things along the way, especially mm -hmm. if you're a preacher's kid like yes, I was. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I've always said a preacher's kid can spot a hypocrite, you know, hundred, <laughs> my daughter can't. <laughs> exactly. Um, <clears throat> and this speaker who really changed my life, I think, said, read what it says and not what you've been taught. Mm -hmm. And you, you talk about kind of unlearning things. Mm -hmm. And as you get in the Word, the Holy Spirit reveals where there's some little error there and you can be freer if you get rid of it. Well, it is, and it says that He came to reveal all truth to us. And uh, there's so many things within our lives and in our circumstances, business failures, family situations that are not the truth that God wants us to experience. And so we have to unlearn, and we do that by a process that we have in the book, which is, again, allow allowing Jesus to take us to those places where there is a lie rooted within us, where our concept of who we are, or maybe even what other people are. We found that once people start getting free, the whole world looks different. They see people mm -hmm. different. They're more free to accept people as they are instead of judging and criticizing, criticizing which puts us even more in that cesspool of problems. More toxin. More toxin, <laughs> yes, absolutely. If you just tuned in, I'm talking with Diana Sykes. She's an author. This is her second book. She's a Bible teacher, travels a lot. And uh, she, thank God, she's taken the time to really help you have answers and to be discipled. I, I can't get away from where Jesus said, go make disciples. Exactly. That's the hard part. That's the hard part. That's yeah, hard you know, part. raise your hand and come forward. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> praise God for everyone who does. But uh, the, the tough work, and then when you think, of how Jesus spent the bulk of his time mm -hmm. with those 12. Mm -hmm. He did. He didn't spend the bulk of his time with the masses of people. And because he did, Christianity reached us. That's right, absolutely. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have if all he did was be with the crowd. That's right. No, he built he his life, them. and that, that's why I see you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure in your Bible classes, but also through this book, you're building your life and what you've learned into, yes. the, into the lives of other people. Absolutely. Now, uh, I didn't come from the pain that you did mm -hmm. and the dysfunction and, yes. and the verbal and all that. Um, was there a moment when you, hey, I'm, I'm free from that? Because I know there's a process. There is a process. Is there a process and is there a moment? <laughs> well, there is a moment, actually. It's quite interesting. I mean, um, I have worked through this detox process for quite a number of years now. But it's interesting how different books and things can trigger uh, a release of feeling. So it's only been maybe a couple of years ago, I was reading actually a book uh, called Molecules of Emotion. And uh, what this doctor was saying in there is that uh, your emotions and your thoughts are actually things that get lodged within you that until they're released and they, if they remain suppressed that you'll still keep acting on that pain of that original moment. Mm -hmm. So I was on my patio one day reading that story, uh, that book. Now was that a Christian book? or uh, It is not a Christian book. No, no it's, it's by Dr. Candace Pert. And, uh, but she was talking about how that she had so much uh, repressed emotions and something triggered and I just really started crying. And this is not, I mean, I'd already been mm -hmm. through a lot of process, like an onion is peeled, right. you get to the core. But anyway, uh, my husband came out and said, what's going on? And I said, well, I just had a moment, but I had never really shared with him the depth of what I had actually experienced because I, I didn't want him to know. That's you know, powerful. I did not lady. want him to know what I had gone through. Uh, how, how long into the marriage were you? Oh gosh, 20 years. <laughs> oh my God. I word. kept it private. Oh my God, he doesn't give up, does he? No, he doesn't. Jesus doesn't give up. I mean, I'd already experienced a lot of freedom, but there mm -hmm. was another step where the Lord wanted me to just be free, to be able to be released from all the pain of the mm -hmm. past. Of course, every day you have new issues that you deal with. We all do, because we're in a world, a fallen world. But anyway, so. Uh, I shared with him everything, and it was the most amazing moment that happened. And of course, we've always been incredibly close, but it was just like, it just opened up a whole new arena, and it gave me more freedom to help other people that are in the same situation, because that was a, a part of my life, a deep, 
part of my life that I had not really fully let go of. I wish I could have been a fly on the wall. <laughs> I know, I know. When that happened. Um, I think it is so significant though mm. that Jesus wants us whole. He wants us whole. You know, there's seven billion people in the earth and you know, Arthelene, not everyone can go to a counselor, a psychiatrist, mm -hmm. Uh, to their pastor, but they can take this detox book and they can read it. It'll trigger moments in their life. They can go to the back and say, well, this was my issue. This is how I'm feeling. They can allow Jesus to take them to that point and release that pain and release even that little girl or little boy right. that's been trapped all these years. Oh, I've interviewed so many like that. Oh, they, they yes. Bring my heart, but you send them to the end of the book. To the end of the book. In, Each in about chapter, every chapter. Yeah. Every chapter. We, and I encourage people to make notes. What were you feeling? You know, when you read that and you realize, well, someone else has experienced that. Uh, you know, we had a, a lady in England who had terrific arthritis and uh, took her through the detox situation and it was amazing. I mean, she would twist, she was twisted, dark glasses, mm -hmm. lots of pain she had believed a lie. She had believed that her mom and dad didn't want her. She overheard a conversation, a battle that they were in, and she lived her life angry and mad. And uh, once she began getting free from that, she began to get released from that pain. It was, it was a miracle moment, it really was. Yeah, I was just gonna say what happened to her physically because that well, yeah. It totally affects the physical body. Well, it really does. It's so interesting, we were doing a uh, detox life-changing weekend, she couldn't come to the actual service. So the pastor said to my husband, I said, well, you go see this lady. And we were like, oh, we've just flown in from, these were our thoughts. Mm -hmm. We've flown in from America, you know, we're tired. But we said, no, we're gonna go. So her friend drove us to her house. And so we just said, okay, you know, what, what is the situation? Why, why are you the way you are? And the Lord began to take her back to that time. It began to unfold and she was at church the next day. She began to get her freedom then. But what we found so interesting was on the way back to this, the uh, service that we were doing the teaching at, her friend said to her, she said, you know, my friend Sue, that uh, you just took through that process, she told me, in th she said three days ago, she told me Jesus is coming to my house in three days. And- so um, prepared. Huh? Yes, exactly. So, but what had happened was the revealer of all truth, Jesus came to her house. Mm -hmm. I mean, we came as his representative, but we had no idea what she needed. But right. being willing, to let him, him flow through and let he who only knew what was going on in her life have that moment with her, she began to get free. That gives me goosebumps yeah. to think yeah. of his details. His care detail. For us. And if we'd have said no, we're too yeah. tired. Which you know, we've got something else going no possible. on. Yeah. yeah. Hey, if you just join me, uh, the website is on the screen for my friend Diana Sykes author of uh, Detox, I think a very important book. If you're interested in really going on with the Lord, this is your book. And um, also she speaks and, uh, you know, speaks seminars anywhere. I imagine you have quite a variety of things that you speak for, so you can get information through that. We're about out of time, but I want to uh, hit <coughs> one more of your, and we've only skimmed the surface of this, so I, I'm sure you realize that, is, um, that scripture that's used so often, maybe so often that it becomes trite to us, mm -hmm. and that's the power, life and death is in the tongue. Yes, And yes. Uh, sometimes you come from families who really express themselves, you know, yes. and maybe adversely too from very timid yes. circumstances. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing like a word of encouragement that's right, that's right. And you know, I think once people are able to realize the power of positive words as opposed to negative words, and even words that are within you that you're holding on to, once those can be released, then life words can come. Otherwise, we just receive everything kind of like so as a negative. So you're saying you speak to yourself. Exactly, mm -hmm. absolutely. But oh, life and, and death, to the children. Yes. Oh the difference when you see a, a little child who has mm -hmm. really been yelled at and screamed yes, at and cursed absolutely. at and another one that has been loved and cherished it just makes all the it's difference it's all the in difference and it's life and death 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. It is. I do hope that you will uh, take advantage of this book. It's power packed <clears throat> and uh, could be a blessing to anyone. And like I say, it's for that person who really wants to go on with the Lord and they want to be free. And i uh, got to take a little effort to do it. I've mentioned it to you, precious viewers, so many times where Jesus comes up to the man at the pool and says, do you want to be well? This book, if you'll do what's in there, could make you well uh, spiritually in many other ways. We're out of time, but please stay with me. I've got a couple things to say before we have to say goodbye. Arthelene would like you to keep the following information handy. You may contact Homekeepers by writing P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758, or go to www.rippy.org. Remember, we always enjoy hearing from our viewers, and we thank you for your support. Okay, I ho hope you have your beautiful pearl cross bracelet. And we have a few left. I hope you'll take advantage of it for that gift of at least $20 or more. Uh, we will get it out to you. It is just beautiful. You can wear it with anything. Hope you'll do that. The uh, credit card number is 1-800-229-0059 or write to me at Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. All right. This message is for those viewers who have teenagers in your life. A teenage boy had just passed his driving test and inquired of his father as to when they could discuss the use of the car. His father said he'd make a deal with his son. You bring your grades up from a C to a B average, study your Bible, and get your hair cut, and then we'll talk about the car. The boy thought about that for a moment and decided he'd settle for the offer, and they agreed. After about six weeks, his father said, son, you've brought up your grades, and I've observed that you have been studying your Bible, but I'm disappointed that you haven't had your hair cut. The boy said, you know, Dad, I've been thinking about that, and I've noticed in my studies of the Bible that Samson had long hair, John the Baptist had long hair, Moses had long hair, and there's very strong evidence that Jesus had long hair. And the dad replied, did you also notice that they walked everywhere? Think about that. And remember, friends, there's no higher calling than that of a homekeeper. God bless you. If you would like a video copy of today's Homekeepers program for just $19.95, call 1-800-229-0059 for credit card orders or send a gift of at least $19.95 to Homekeepers, P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. Be sure to note the program number which appears on your screen. 